One of the compelling arguments that was made for the RX 480 prior to its launch was that getting two of them and putting them in Crossfire might be a more powerful and cost-effective solution than picking up a GTX 1070 or 1080. This video serves to test those claims. If you're looking for my full RX 480 review, just note that this isn't it, but that will be coming up shortly. So let's see if the hype of the RX 480 can hold up to reality. The GPUs that I use for my testing are dual PowerColor RX 480 8GB editions, although they're completely referenced with regards to their GPU with a boost clock of 1266MHz. They were used in my testing system of an Intel Core i7-6700K overclocked to 4.4GHz with 8GB of G-Skilled Trident Z DDR4-3466 memory on an MSI Z170A Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. Before we get into the actual performance numbers from the cross-fired cards, I just want to make a note of power consumption of the two cards. With both of the 480s installed in my system, it drew a total of 412 watts under a full load, whereas the MSI Gaming X 1070 I tested took in 274 watts total, and the ASUS Strix 1080 hit a peak of 308 watts. So regardless of the performance numbers, this won't be a more efficient system in terms of power usage. But looking at the benchmark results of the dual RX 480s, most games managed to hit above what I experienced with the aftermarket MSI GTX 1070 Gaming X with regards to average FPS, but not quite hitting the performance of a 1080. However, one thing to take serious note of here is the fact that the minimum frame rate on the 480s is significantly lower than the 1070, which was incredibly obvious in my testing. The frame tearing, skipping, and micro stutter was a serious issue in my crossfire testing. Looking at the value of either setup in terms of cost per frame rate, both here in South Africa as well as in the US, it's a neck and neck tie between either configuration. In the titles that didn't completely take advantage of Crossfire, the 1070 wins the value race, and the better optimized titles hand the value crown to the 480. However, it's important to keep in mind with this configuration, I'm using the cost of a gaming X on the 1070 side, and there's some cheaper aftermarket solutions out there that would swing the value numbers in favor of the 1070 if they can put up similar performance. I think I'll conclude this video with a couple of thoughts. The current state of Crossfire, at least with the driver release I used, Crimson 16.6.2, is too inconsistent to promise a better performance than a 1070 across the board. Either the title doesn't take complete advantage of the configuration, or the actual implementation within the game leads to hideous gaps and frames being rendered that provide a less than optimal experience. And unfortunately, the value per frame rate delta isn't large enough to readily justify the added hassle of crossfire optimization at this point. And even the overall cost is neck and neck between the 1070 and the 480s. Then there's the added cost of the additional power draw that the 480s will be taking from your wallet after time. It seems based on the current state of things, cross-fired RX 480s would be a worse choice than a 1070. The smoother experience of a single GPU would be worth it to me, even if the combined cost of the RX 480s was $50 less than it is now. Of course, you may indeed come to a different conclusion based on your tolerance for visual annoyances. And with that conclusion, I'd like to thank Wootware for sponsoring this video on the Crossfire RX 480s. If you live in South Africa, Wootware should be your go-to shop for RX 480s, 1070s, and beyond. With the current best price on the RX 480 at 4,799 Rand, their value makes them hard to beat. They also follow up their tremendous pricing with a customer service team that strives to make sure you're satisfied with every interaction that you have with them. So be sure to head on over to wootware.co.za to woot up your PC with a fancy new GPU or two although I wouldn't recommend to get a 1070. And that's where I'll end this video on the Crossfire RX 480 comparison. Like this video if you found it helpful at all. Dislike it if you disagree with my conclusions that I came to. You can subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech-related content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.